Hello, and welcome to another one of our stories from the Bible. Last time we had a story, a very, very fishy tale, wasn't it? Do you remember? Well, today, for today's story, Jesus does something just as amazing. Are you ready to open the book and listen to the story of the storm on the lake? It was a perfect day. The sky was blue, the lake too, and a gentle breeze whipped the wave tips white and foamy. Jesus sat at the side of the lake and talked to the people about God. God is your father, he said. He dresses the flowers in beautiful colours. He makes sure the birds have enough to eat. But you are his sons and his daughters. Don't you think he can clothe and feed you too? So trust him and stop worrying your lives away. When Jesus had finished teaching, he was tired, so he called his closest friends, and together they piled into a boat and set off across the lake for home. Jesus yawned. He stretched. He laid his head down, and to the rhythm of the waves and the rocking of the boat, he fell asleep. It was a perfect end to a perfect day. And then suddenly the day was not so perfect. The sky turned black, the lake too, and a wild wind stirred the waves up, tall and stormy. The boat rocked right, the boat rocked left, the boat rocked up and down. The boat rocked so hard, in fact, that Jesus' friends were sure they would all drown. But Jesus slept right through it, except for the odd snuffle and snore. Jesus, his friends called at last. Jesus, wake up. We're all going to drown. So Jesus woke up and he sat up and he rubbed his eyes and he stood up. It was all anybody else could do to stay on their feet. But Jesus stood. And then very calmly he said to the winds, quieten down. And he said to the waves, settle down. And they did. And Jesus turned to his friends and said, you didn't need to be frightened. You didn't have to worry. All you had to do was trust me. See, everything is calm. And so it was. The sky was blue, the lake too. And the little waves splashed happily at the side of the boat. It was a perfect day again. Jesus' friends were very frightened and worried by the storm, weren't they? Around them was a storm in the boat with them was Jesus and he kept them safe. Do you ever worry about things? Let's close our eyes for a moment and think about the things that might that make us feel worried or afraid. Now see if you can remember how you stopped feeling scared. Now I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, when we are worried or afraid and there's no one to talk to, help us to remember that you are with us and that we are never alone. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening today and I look forward to bringing you another story again soon. Take care and keep safe and God bless you all. Bye for now.